Hi, and welcome back to Do Fix Differently. Now, early in the year, we put out a questionnaire which we think is actually the first of its kind. It was designed to probe both the current state of fixed connectivity in the market, as well as to challenge respondents to consider new ways of completing everyday tasks and processes around both inbound and outbound connectivity, doing fix differently, essentially. The top level responses actually align quite well to the market conversations I've been having over the past 10 years or so. And the insights give a really interesting uh, insight into the low level detail, even if they are slightly scary. Now, before we dive into the results of the questionnaire, please can I ask that if you appreciate these videos, please support us by liking or leaving a comment. And of course, subscribe and hit the notification bell to keep up to date with all of the videos that we're putting out. So let's get into it. Now, the full results from this questionnaire are contained in a white paper, and you can get the download link in the description section below. In this video, though, what I really want to do is I want to summarize three core themes that we saw come out of all of the various different responses. Uh, the first is that uh, things really are as inefficient as we thought. Um, the responses that related to the current state of fix revealed a consistent pattern of manual, repetitive, and inefficient work using a patchwork of tools many of which happen to be developed in-house. Now, I've talked quite extensively about the problems and inefficiency of fixed connectivity in a lot of YouTube videos right here on this channel. And so this picture was really on display again here uh, in the responses. Put simply, processes and perspectives have barely moved forward for the last 10 or even 20 years in this particular niche. Which brings us to number two. Fix appears to be stuck in a rut with no real way out. What was quite alarming to see in some of these responses was that a large portion of the inertia seems to stem from a series of outdated misconceptions. This includes the idea that distributing specifications can somehow leak significant amounts of intellectual property to competitors, even though emailing a PDF is possibly the least secure thing you can possibly do. And we've covered that extensively in a, in a variety of videos here as well. Um, there are also suggestions that IT security or marketing will never sign off anything that they can't completely control or design. What was concerning, though, was that a lot of these misconceptions were often reported third hand or were quite vaguely worded, reaching almost folklore like status. So, for example, a respondent never gave a concrete example of what security requirements would be needed to satisfy their IT concerns, merely that IT security might have a problem with it. Uh, similarly, there were no examples of who believes distributing specs is a dangerous activity, merely that some people think that. Um, and in some cases, we even had respondents who said, I don't believe this, but some people might think it. Um, so it was a very clouded picture that we saw. And so we're stuck. We're stuck in this rut. People are blocked from championing change internally because they fear that somebody may say no. But because nobody is putting forward a persuasive argument for change, then nothing will change. And we stay exactly where we are. Which brings us on to number three. Firms seem quite nervous, wary, or even scared of change. Now, the responses suggest that there's a very strong bias against action, and that's actually holding everybody back. We didn't deliberately highlight this in the paper, but we designed it in a way that our inbound and outbound questions were actually quite symmetrical, designed to test whether respondents were inward or outward facing in their views. And what we found is that resistance to change was clearly stronger for outbound than it was for inbound. So let me explain that. Um, for example, we asked people whether they would like to consume machine-readable or digital documentation from venues that they themselves connect out to. And there was strong interest in that because it helps them with their internal processes and procedures. But when we asked if they would produce and provide the exact same digital documentation to their customers, the interest dropped significantly. They were only really interested in solving their own problem and not the same problem that their customers are actually facing. Now, we understand that many firms in our industry can be bureaucratic machines where no seems to be the default answer to just about everything. But many of the responses suggest that the hurdle required for outbound change is too high, maybe impossibly high, which just leaves the industry stuck in the same old rut. So you might think that our three key trends here 
paint quite a bleak picture of FIX today. But at FIX spec, we actually see a much brighter future ahead for FIX and how we use it. And that's because most of the ideas that we presented in the survey take inspiration from things we've already seen deployed in the world of REST APIs. They aren't theoretical ideas that may or may not work. They're based on real-world observations that we know will work if only they get a chance. So we remain very optimistic about that. Once we overcome these hurdles and the internal bureaucracy that holds people back today, the firms that are able to adopt these innovations will quickly outpace their competition and free up much needed time and resource. And that will in turn will lead to an inevitable step forward for the whole industry. So those are the top three takeaways from the questionnaire. But before I wrap this video up, I should talk about two next steps that you can take today to start making improvements to your connectivity process. The first is to address the pain you might be feeling if you struggle with manual processes or a lack of tooling today. So head over to fixspec.com and register for our free workspace app. It'll let you get started with machine readable digital documentation, creating them from log files or existing word files and enriching them from the standards. It's a really powerful tool that brings together fix logs, digital documentation and customer support into a single secure application. The second gift for you is a connectivity scorecard that's also available on fixspec.com. Now it takes about 15 minutes to complete and it'll give you a thorough personalized report on the strengths and weaknesses of your current connectivity process and will give you actionable advice on how to improve them. So check out the links in the description below, subscribe, click notifications of course, and drop us a line if you have any thoughts or feedback on any of the ideas that we've presented. Uh, otherwise, please do download the uh, white paper report that we've produced. Um, we think it's really interesting. It's the first of its kind. We may run it again next year as well and see how things have changed. Um, after all of that, I hope you, this is found, you found this interesting. And I'll see you in the next Do Fix Differently.